Hi everyone, welcome to Creative Stampin' Designs. My name is Karen. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator from Central New Jersey. And we are going to make a quick fun fold card today. If you hop on, say hi, let me know where you're watching from. <clears throat> Try to get myself straight here. I am going to be using the Sweet Citrus Bundle, which is in the new um, mini catalog, which goes live tomorrow, um, January 5th. This is the catalog. I can't show you anything else. And then the celebration. Um, if you have the catalog, it's on page 49. And it's just a really cute bundle. Um, I did a card not too long ago. I made this into um, grapefruits. And today I'm going to make it into lemons. All right? I just have one thing, or well, a couple things to tell you. Let me move this out of the way. Um, the catalog goes live tomorrow. There is also this joining special that starts tomorrow and in my opinion I honestly think it's one of the best ones they've had in a I mean they they usually have pretty good ones but this one here seems to be extra special um you have three options that you get to pick from hi Catherine thanks for joining um you have three options. The first one is you can purchase the new mini, and I'm going to show you. I have this one. It is so pretty. This is Boho Blue. Okay, this is one of the new in colors for 2021 to 20, I'm sorry, 2023 to 2025. I just really went back a couple years. Um, this is one of the new in colors. So you, this is the mini um, stamp and cut and emboss machine. It comes with everything you need. It comes with, uh, well, it's the machine, and then you get a packet with all the plates that you need. It's your basic, the white plate, the two, um, take it out of the package for you. And I have used it. I just have the tissue in it. So it's plate number one, then two of plate number two, plate number three, which gets used for your embossing folders, and plate number four that gets used with your 3D embossing folders. And this all comes with it. It is a $63 value. Um, you get that, and you get to choose... $175 of products of your choice and you pay $129. It ships for free. I'm going to close this up. We were using this last night at our class and it was just getting passed around. It was really nice and easy until we got to something big that we had to emboss or cut and then we had to get the big one out. Um... So it's $129 for $175 in products plus the mini cut and emboss machine. Your second option is just the plain white mini cut and emboss machine. $175 in product uh, for $129. Again, it all ships for free. They send you a free pass paper, paper pumpkin kit. And they send you business stuff in case you want to make it into a business but you can join just to be a hobby demonstrator and then option three is you get to choose hundred and seventy five dollars of product for ninety nine dollars so it's really a great joining special if you are interested contact me at creative stamp and designs at gmail.com and I'd love to talk to you about it about joining my team hi Rosie hi Carol thanks for joining Hi, Barbara. Thank you for joining. All right, let's get started. 
Um, I did a lot of prep beforehand. I'll explain as I'm going why. Um, I have a panel of... Okay, anybody who knows me knows I hate yellow, but I don't mind so saffron. And I couldn't get around making a lemon any color but yellow. Because if it's not yellow, it's going to be a lime or an orange or something else. So this is four, four and a quarter by 11. Okay. I scored it at five and a half. And then I scored it again at four and a quarter. And then I scored it from the bottom of the four and a quarter line up to the top right corner. So we're going to just give this a good burnish like that. This is going to go like this. And this piece is going to go like that. So it's going to be an easel card. I don't make too many of them. I don't know why I don't make easel cards. I really like them. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do before I forget is just add a little glue inside this part because we don't need that to open. Lemons are green before they ripen and you can make them ripen. Yes, I could have done that, Rosie, but then everybody would have thought I was making a lime. Um... That's right. The color I have going with this, <laughs> I'll show you now. So I have a panel of, another panel of So Saffron with a panel of the Subtle Blushing Bride DSP. And I went with this color because my daughter said, make it pink so it could be pink lemonade. So I needed a color other than yellow. I, I just, I'm not a yellow person at all. But I didn't use my least favorite, which is crushed curry. I just, other than fall leaves, I really just don't like the color. I don't know why. I'm not, and it's, you know, it's funny. During the summer, most of the flowers around my house are yellow. I just can't seem to get away from them. All right. So I embossed that. I, I'm sorry. I'm, I can't talk today. I adhered the DSP to the yellow the So Saffron paper, and we're just going to adhere it to the bottom portion of the card front. Okay. And I think what I'm going to do, so I don't mess anything up, I'm just going to put the glue here. I'm not going to put it on, on this piece because I'd be afraid I'm going to go the wrong way. All right, so we're just going to put that like that. And we're just going to hold this down so it doesn't pop up on me. And we're just going to adhere it so that there's that border around. So then when it... We're just going to fold it up. I'm trying to see if I'm in the camera okay. Yeah, I am. Okay, then I have another panel of the DSP and we're, I don't know why I closed my glue and we're just going to adhere this on the side Oops. Oh, gee whiz I'm not straight with my glue today or anything I'm getting it on my fingers I feel like I'm out of practice from doing my lives okay I am going to show you what I did for the lemons, I do have them all cut. So I took a panel of four and a quarter, or four, I think it's four by, four by five and a quarter. I just wanted to make sure it was big enough to fit everything. All right. And of course I'm pulling out every color except the color I need. I have Daffodil Delight. And I'm just going to ink up the lemon outlines. Okay. And we're just going to adhere them right like that. Give it a little bit of a press. Oh, 
Oh, thank you, Carol. There we go. All right. I am going to clean that because I want to try to get just one of those lemons on the envelope front. Of course, I'm you know, going to try to do that live. All right, now for the, the pulp part of the lemons, I can call it the proper name, I have my So Saffron, and again, I'm just inking it up. And hang on, i got to make sure I'm going the right way. All right, and we're just going to, it's two-step stamping, but not a difficult two-step because you're in an open area. I still have to hold my breath when doing it. Okay, and give it a press. So, that was how I did the lemons, right? Then I took... I find what I did with it. All right, I have the Sweet Citrus dies and the Sweet Citrus hybrid embossing folder and I line this up and I have where is it okay oh actually I couldn't use this all right so I have this lined up like that all right and then we are going to put it in upside down so, you know what do it the way I really did it. This fits in right like that. It kind of like snaps in, I guess you could say. All right. Then I took the paper and flipped it like this. I lined everything up. Am I in the camera still? Sorry if I'm not. I lined everything up, closed it, and ran it through the stamp and cut and emboss machine, make sure you put the folded edge in first. Okay? And I got this. I have to pre-cut my things right now. Um, I believe I have a torn rotator cuff again, and I'm having a lot of trouble using the stamp and cut and emboss machine. So, I don't want to do it live because it's painful. <laughs> but I wanted to show you how I did it. So, here's all my lemons all cut up. And if you look at them, I don't know if you could see it. Uh, if I get the light, I'm trying to see. You could see they have, they actually have texture. Hi, Jillian. Thanks for joining. But yeah, they actually, even the whole lemon has a little bit of texture on it. It's so cute. I just, I... I don't know why fruit is so cute. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take these three. This is going to be our piece for inside to hold the easel up. Okay, so we're going to just put that one on the side for right now. And we're going to get some Stampin' Dimensionals. And we're going to figure out where we're going to put these. Because I didn't plan that part of it. I just know I want them on the card front. So we'll just put some stamp of dimensionals on the back. And then we'll decide where we're going to put them. Do this one. Toward the bottom. I don't know about you guys, but we're having some crazy warm weather here. It's in the 60s. It's not supposed to be in the 60s. It is January. I'm not complaining, but it was actually sick in the 60s and muggy this morning. So it wasn't, it wasn't very pleasant out. All right, so we have those. I did also stamp and pre-cut a bunch of leaves. I don't know what I'm using, but I stamped and cut a bunch of leaves. So that's all cut. Okay. 
and we are just going to arrange these somehow on the front. And it doesn't matter because this piece will not fold, so we can put them however I want. You're coming to visit my kid. <laughs> Come on over, Rosie. No, I, I welcome the heat wave. Oh, I guess I need to take these the covers off. Um, I like the wa warmer. I'm a warm weather person. My husband likes the cold. Yet he complains when it's cold, too. All right, so we're going to put this, I guess, right about there. And then we'll put this one. And if I need more dimensionals, I can always, I just sneak them underneath. A lot of times. Now we'll put this like this. And then before I put the other piece, I want to just sneak under um, some leaves. And I'm just gluing those under. So I'll put a few leaves under. Just afraid because sometimes when we have 60 degrees or warmer weather, then all of a sudden we get hit with freezing cold. And I really don't like that. And let's put this one and then I'll put another leaf. That's why I use my pokey tool thing. Alright, and this should be good. I guess we're just going to put it down there. I'm just going on a whim here. I really am. Whatever looks good at the moment. Now, I was trying to come up. Whoops. Got the glue there. And, okay. There we go. Okay. Good enough. If I want to put more leaves, again, I can. I can always sneak them under later on. Now, lemons have seeds. I have never gotten a lemon without a seed. And I was going through all my embellishments, trying to figure out what to use. Hi, Tara. Thanks for joining. Um, what to use for seeds. And I didn't want to use solid round things because lemon seeds are not round. They're oval. Well, kind of. So... Once again, I asked my daughter, and I'm going to use these, the glass pieces that we have. They're white, and I'm just going to put a couple of those, and we're going to hope they look like lemon seeds. Whoops, if I can get it off the... Come on, I'm having a little trouble here. Maybe I'll put this on the bigger piece. But I'm just going to put a few of them in the lemon wedges just to, so it kind of looks like they have some seeds in them. I don't know. I was going through everything we have, and I'm looking and trying to come up with something. And like I said, I haven't gotten, I've never gotten a lemon that wasn't filled with seed, and it didn't wasn't filled with seeds for one reason or another. So I thought those would, I thought these would be, these would make okay seeds. So I was trying to make it as realistic as possible. Another one here. And I'm not counting, I'm just putting them in. So uh, at the end, I'll make sure I have an odd number. And I'll do one more on this one. Come on. There we go. So there, our lemon has some seeds. Okay, that was my my little my little blurb. All right. Um, where am I? 
All right, now I have a, a this is just a big strip of basic white, and I am going to stamp the sentiment. Have a, have a zesty birthday. And then I'm going to just cut the edge, the corners, or the sides, sorry. There we go. I can't talk and stamp. I just have a little trouble with that. And I'm just freehanding this. And we're going to hope that that's even. Get these pieces out of here. And we're just going to pop this up right on the top. So we'll use a couple more dimensionals. And we'll just pop this right up here. All right. And then I just have a couple, because I still need to add bling. And this, this, it says it's polished pink, but I don't know, it matched to me. So we're just going to add a couple of those. Got a lot of bling on my card today. A lot going on. Let me make sure I have an odd number before I put any more of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's it. We're just putting two. Because that's nine. If I put a tenth one, I'll have to put an eleventh, and I don't want to go any further. All right, let's do the inside. My inside, I have a four by four panel of basic white and a four and an eighth by four and an eighth panel of Blushing Bride. Just set the Blushing Bride to the side. We're going to stamp the sentiment. Here we go. I was going to say, I know I have it. S sending you a big squeeze. I'm going to stamp it in. I'm done with my dimensionals. Let me get them out of here. All right, we're going to stamp it in uh, Smoky Slate. And I'm going to stamp it toward the top. And we're going to... It's photopolymer, so... Let me check and see one thing. Okay, yeah. The, um... We have a couple stamp sets in the new catalog that you can choose whether you want photopolymer or cling. This is one that just comes in photo, photopolymer. I prefer photopolymer when it comes to stamping sentiments because I'm really crooked. All right, and we're just going to stamp that right there. And then I have, they're all stuck together. I'm just going to put the little flowers. On either side. And then we have the centers. Oh, hang on. I got to do the other side. I got the ink smudged. I was being so careful, too. again. All right. I lost my flowers. 
Actually, I think I'm going to put one on this side, and I'll put the three on the other. Like that. And then, there are these little, where's my... These little tiny pieces here, these are flower centers. At least that's what I'm assuming because I dropped something. Um, these two, the two small ones that are attached, fit right in the center of those two small flowers, and these fit in the center of the bigger flower. Let me close this. Okay, we're going to adhere this. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. We're going to adhere this to the Blushing Bride mat. Adhere this to the center, and then we'll put the lemon to hold our easel up. So this will fit right here. Okay, and then let's put some. See, I wasn't done with these dimensionals. We're going to put some dimensionals around this lemon. set this right where we want so we'll put it put it right about there and I'm putting it on an angle because I want to put my leaf in Let's sneak a little leaf underneath I can pick it up and again I'm just using liquid glue for this and we're going to get this out of the way And we'll just slip this right, right, there we go, right under here. Just like that. Nice, quick and easy, whoops, easel card. With my seeds. I was very excited about doing the seeds, I have to tell you that. Okay, now, right, before I get started on this, I need to just... Let me just clean my stamp real quick because I want to try not to get yellow everywhere. Let's see if I can do this. Just give me a piece of scrap paper. Stick underneath my envelope. Now, all I want is this, this wedge. Actually, what I'm going to do, I have these pieces of, and of course they lost their stickiness. All right, so I'm just going to put post-it tape, and I don't take a chance. Daffodil Delight, just ink up that wedge, Ooh, 
whoops. Okay, so it's a little higher than I planned, but that's okay. Or I should say a little more on a slant than I planned. This one here is a little bit easier to ink up. side and we're just gonna put it hi Pam thanks for joining hi Shirley thank you for joining there we go I'm gonna close this before I get that ink all over anything and then do the envelope back and we're done I've been told that the post office is giving a bit of a hard time when it comes to the envelopes with things stamped on the front. So that's why I've been putting things on this side and light colors so their barcodes or whatever can go right over it and won't notice it. So I've been trying to be a little more conscious of when I'm doing that. Okay, give this a quick little trim and we'll be done. I remembered everything on the card, all my embellishments. I wasn't sure if I was going to remember everything. And I will go back after I'm done to look and see if there's any questions or anything. I've been trying to read as I go, but already, if you haven't already, Oh, thank you, Rosie. I'm actually going to be starting to do YouTube Live soon. Um, I haven't decided when exactly, but I am. It was something I said once I knew I was able, that I had enough subscribers, because you have to have a thousand subscribers in order to do YouTube Lives. Um, and I said, even when I hit, I said, it's something for the new year. So I don't know exactly when, but... So there we go. Quick little corner easel card with the lemons, which I absolutely love, and the envelope to match. If you have any questions, reach out. I'd be happy to help you out. If you do make this card, I would love for you to post it. it my card will go live along with a link to the video on Friday around 8 a.m., um, it will also, the card will be live on my Facebook page. If you make, you do the design, I would love to see your take on it. Post it in the comments on my Facebook page. Um, I, like I said, I love seeing what everybody's making. All right. Don't forget, the catalog goes live tomorrow morning. I have my list, like two pages long. I have my list all ready to place my get my order placed first thing in the morning um, and I am expediting any everything so if anybody did purchase my paper shares they you will be getting them next week because as long as my order gets here on time because um, I am going to expedite the order um, and I think that's it and if anyone at all if you are interested at all in joining join as a hobby demonstrator just to get the discount get like I said hundred and seventy five dollars worth of stuff for $99 or $129 with that mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. It's really a great deal. It's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. All right. Thank you everyone for joining and I hope to see you back here next week. Take care. Bye-bye.